All right, what's up, guys? It's Mitchell Deity, and I know it's another late night guide. So, with this guide series, I'm trying my best to keep up with it. I'm always a little bit behind, so hopefully, those of you that started around the same time release a guide, I know you guys are gonna be waiting for me every day. I'm doing my best. If those of you that are starting the guide later, like uh, whenever you start it, you're gonna have a much better time. But those of you, like I said, in Discord. Just be in Discord if you have questions on where to go next, I will answer them. But for right now, with making these videos, just know I'm always going to be a little bit behind, but I am trying my best. I'm doing, I've gotten like 200 people in new player guilds over the last day. I'm still trying to do account work. There's so much stuff I'm trying to do. So bear with me, but let's get into this guide. So today, on the earlier part of the guide, I told you to keep farming unrecorded history in the background and get as much sigma as you can. So I got about 100k, and while you were doing that, I said to be pushing it a little bit more into story. So in story progression, I am to chapter 4-5, I believe. So that is where I got for this. So yeah, chapter 4-4. That's all I got to. So I did not get as far as I was hoping, but I need to get this part of the guide. This pace you go through the story isn't a big deal. I'll make a huge push to catch up with everybody else, so don't worry. <clears throat> but going from here... Oh, the first part of this guide section will be the most efficient way to make six stars. So those of you that have been farming, you've got your six star materials saved up. The first six star you should be making is free spirit area. Second is going to be your wyvern front tank, which hopefully you got Croza. If you didn't get Croza, you can use Rose or Tywin if you got blue Tywin somehow. And then if you didn't get either of them, you're going to be stuck with Angelica or Angelic Montmorency. So both of them you get for free. Crosa you get for free, but it'll take a while and you want to get your Wyvern team basically set up for day five. So that is what day four is going to be doing is setting up a Wyvern team. So make sure you get your uh, front tank six start. Next up, Terranor Guard. I believe you get them for free. If you don't get them for free, we'll have to make some adjustments. Um, but either do Terranor Guard up to five star or do Alexa up to five star. <clears throat> and if you do Alexa up to five star, then you are going to want to do... Um, next is if you have Mui, get Mui up to five star, five star awakened. I'll show all this tomorrow when they're all fully finished, but you're going to be working on your Wyvern team with the materials you earn today because day five is when we will clear Wyvern 13. So now that I showed a little bit of that, I'm going to go ahead and go into the next part. So one thing I hopefully you guys also caught on to is that whenever you're getting gear, you should be leveling your gear with the drops. So these tier 44 drops be feeding into your uh, free gear that you got that's on your Stene, and then you have an extra set. It's on Terranor Guard right now, and I'll show you why here shortly. So just make sure as you're getting this these drops, you're feeding it into the um, better pieces that you have gotten so far. And that is how you are going to level those up. I would be saving all of your charms. If you look at my charm count, I am at a very... Um, pretty healthy charm count for for this. So I'm going to be continuing to save charms. You get a ton from my recorded history. But now this is a part a lot of you have been waiting for. The most efficient way to six star your uh, your characters. So with six starring your characters, there's going to be one pet that will give you hero level EXP. So by getting putting this pet on, this is going to be whenever you feed penguins into your pet. It actually might be working for um, while you're farming stories. So maybe this is a pet you should have going in your lobby right now. I'm going to check that after this and I'll update you guys tomorrow. I didn't even think about this when trying to level uh, up and farm as much as you could. But for getting six stars as efficiently as possible, you're going to be farming unrecorded history. The best stage to farm an unrecorded history, say you're coming to this video now from the guide, is stage 30 in unrecorded history. I believe it's stage 30. Um, it's stage 30. So that's going to be the one that gives you the most EXP, giving you the most stigma overflow drops. So farm stage 30. So once you get that stigma, there are going to be two options you can do. I'm going to go over both. The method that I do is not as efficient, but it's faster. You don't waste nearly as much time. You just take your stigma, you go into here, and you buy uh, these. You are able to, if you have this on full auto, come tomorrow and the next day, You'll be able to six star a character like every four hours of letting this run. It's very quick. You, you're going to end up with like 10 six stars, 11 six stars by day, like six, seven, probably, as long as you continue to keep up with this. So this is how I do. I just come in here, buy these big ones, and then move on with my life. But 
for the sake of this video, I will show you the efficient way to do it. So you will buy these, the lesser ones, and then you will go in and you will have your fodder here. So you have your fodder characters, so these. So then you will level them up by having that penguin one in there. You will get extra XP, making it to where your penguins level up more. And once you get further, it's more efficient. Right now, it's not nearly as efficient as you want it to be. But as you get further, you will have different um, things that also give you more XP from your like challenge things that get leveled up permanently. I'll show it in a second. But you level them up, and then you go in, level them up again, promote them again up to five star, and then you re or sell them a five star, and you get four per time. So this method here, by leveling them up, uh, promoting them, going back, level them up, promoting them. It saves you, uh, it's around 10,000 stigma if you are set up perfectly for it. So with everything going the best that it can, that is how you do it. But for me, that's not worth the time. Um, doing a 15 run, as you see, I have 2,000 right here. It saves you 10,000, so it, it saves you a total of 160 stamina. So that's up to you, whichever one you decide is worth it. One of the problems with this method is you have to have the two-star fodder. And having the two-star fodder gets really annoying. I would rather just go and transmit these because you end up getting stigma from them too. So I just go and transmit these. I know any of you that are min-maxers do the other way. But as you see, if I transmit this one that's promoted, I get some spirit blooms back. So to decide which way you want to do it. But I'm going to do it the lazy way. Because it's, I don't, the efficiency of that is not important to me. What's important to me is getting, like, if I'm on the, my Epic 7 account, especially for this guide, I want to be getting as much done as fast as possible. I don't want to sit through the character enhanced screen for 30 minutes to make one six star. Not worth it to me. So one thing that I want to touch on, you want to be buying this 40 energy every day and these leaves every day. So in the shop, these refresh every day. Go in and buy these two things right here. And if you're going to do the most, the more efficient method for six starring your characters, you're going to want to buy these 50 friendship bookmarks. Or these friendship bookmarks, you'll use them to summon. And then you, that's how you will get your two star fodder for leveling up uh, and then transmitting later. So this is how you like stockpile up on the, the level or the one star, two star, two star characters. So this is the way to continue to do the more efficient method so that that's all i'm going to talk about for the two methods but for me like i said my way of doing it is the lazy way i'm going to go in here i'm going to go ahead and get 20 of these and bang now i can go make whatever six star i want and i'm going to buy some of these because i need to level up some of my four stars so we have these two going right now and from here we are going to go ahead and I'm actually going to buy another handful of these just in case I need them. But in when order or doing this, I only want to buy the main ones mostly. I just need to four to five stars on my Wyvern characters. So from here, we're going to go ahead and go into the hunt challenge. So in the challenges, all those items that are in my thing, they just came from the Molugora challenge. So on day two, your goal is to get three different characters six star promoted. And you can do that by farming enough to get... Well, like I just did, and then you can use a potion on one, and that will give you three six star characters. And then by doing that, you get a ton of rewards for these, and you get them earlier because you did them all day three. You do them day four, day five, it's not a big deal, it doesn't matter. Uh, you just get the rewards later. But getting these bookmarks is going to be pretty important uh, to get Tamarin if you are working your way toward pity. So the Molagora challenge is where we just got all that stuff from that you saw in the inventory. This is your free six star character, you can six star any character instantly with that potion. Uh, I still need to do the spirit altar thing for this. One thing with the spirit altar thing is I can't farm altar very fast right now, so I'm trying to strengthen my team before I go in and claim this. Because once you claim this, I believe it auto activates, and you have to start farming immediately once you click receive here. I think. I'm not sure if it goes to your mailbox or not, but I know one of these, you have to start farming immediately. So I'm going to wait a little bit just in case it's this one before I start clearing a bunch of spirit altar. Next up is your hunt challenge. This is the point you need to make sure you clear Wyvern 7 or higher 20 times. Wyvern 7 or higher, you can do with the story team you've been doing. Just set it to auto, clear it 20 times. Don't do any more than 20. Do not waste any resources on farming anything under Hunt 13s. I'm going to say that again. Keep farming on Recorded History because right now that's the most efficient thing you can do. But do not waste any of your materials farming lower-end Wyvern. So, 
since we need to get cigarette, what we are going to do, since we did the other challenges, we're going to go into here, these boxes, and we are going to trade in for 10 of these. So the thing with these boxes, with how the game's set up now, if you are farming unrecorded history, let me go ahead and go show this. If you're farming unrecorded history, it doesn't matter whether you use the box or whether you come into side story, go unrecorded history and do AP exchange. You can do either one of these for it. So in, in terms of AP exchange, I'm sitting at probably like 4,000. You won't be at 4,000 if you started this guide a different day. I had extra AP because of a AP buff today. So you're probably gonna be sitting around 2,500, 2,600 if you farmed about the same as much or same amount as me. So just know this is gonna be a little bit less for you, maybe even 2,000. Not a big deal, but you could come into here and buy the Blazing Rages from here if you want as another option. So, but once you do that, you can go ahead, go into it, and you're going to get your cigarette. So by getting cigarette and the Daydream Jokers, now we are set. Now we unlock the big challenges. These are what you're going to be working on day four. So day four is going to be continuing to farm on recorded history, focus on building up your Wyvern characters that you're going to be using, and then from there, it's going to be completing as much other challenge stuff as you can. So this is by Unrecorded History um, Epic Catalyst. You want to go and see what kind of Epic Catalyst you're going to need. Go ahead and claim Cigarette. You're going to see what Epic Catalyst you need before you buy anything for your Wyvern characters. So going into this, I'm going to go ahead and click Grace of Growth. Like I said before, your Grace of Growth hero... I like to do cigarette personally, but doing it for one of your wyvern characters makes your progression much, much faster in terms of getting into wyvern. So I'm going to go ahead and register cigarette, makes it to where I don't have to worry about leveling her up now. She's going to be fully awakened level 50. Once I get two more level 60 heroes, she'll be level 60. And then once I get um, a starting grade 5 hero with fully enhanced skills, she will be maxed out. So the starting grade hero with max skills is going to be your Spectre Tenebria. In order to enhance Spectre Tenebria's skills, we are going to have to obtain all region rewards in unrecorded history. So once we beat unrecorded history level 15, we are going to be able to do this. And then we're also going to be able to six star promote her once we get one more six star. So this is all really big. The next character we are going to six star is going to be Crozet though. So I am going to go in, I'm going to take my potion. So your next six star after Tyria should be Crozet. So come in here, six star Crozet, confirm, confirm. We are now done with Crozet. We now have a second six star character. So we are going to complete the second part of that challenge. And then in terms of your third six star character, you are going to, um, I'm gonna do Spectre Tenebria. So level, uh, reach level 60 with two heroes. I'm gonna do Spectre Tenebria for the guide. It doesn't really matter because you're gonna be getting a lot of six stars over the next few days. And then you're going to, ooh, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Okay, well, I'm going to level uh, Terranor Guard to level 60. Do I have any penguins in here I can grab? I don't. So you're going to be leveling Terranor Guard, or uh, Crozet, sorry, to level 60, and then you're going to be 6-starring Tenebria, and those will be your three 6-stars for day one. So yeah, if I look here, I'm not going to be able to fully... We, we got up to 54. Okay, so get him to 60, and then claim this once you get here. Once you get him level 60, you'll be able to click this option, and then you will... Then from there, be able to six star Tenebra. Those are your first three six stars. Next up, Free Spiriteria. Once you unlock hunt challenges, you are going to want to go into your. I don't. I'm going to bother claiming this today. So once you unlock your hunt challenges, one of the hunt challenges is going to be awakening. So awaken a hero five star or higher one time. This is where you will awaken your. You're going to end up awakening your Free Spiriteria as your first one that you do because she ends up you're going to end up using her for quite a while still so we're going to go ahead and click awakening and see what it gives her but we are going to need 12 eternal forest dust so 12 eternal forest dust i'm going to just use my boxes for now because that's the fastest part that i can do for the guide but like i said you can do it from ap exchange if you want let's go ahead and go into awaken and bam now we have completed one of those challenges or maybe you had to do two no you have to do two of each six star and five star so then the next thing is you can just function after clearing episode 2410. So you can get an exclusive equipment for her, and that's going to give her even more bonus stat to help you clear story and content faster. But you need to beat 410. Hopefully you guys did it by now, but like I said, I'm behind on story. So those are the main things to get done right now. Next up, we're going to talk about your Wyvern team, what you're going to be focusing on tomorrow. 
you're going to be focusing on your front tank. Get them level 60. And once you get them to level 60, you don't need to put any gear on them yet. But on day 5 login, you will get this free HP set right here. I haven't claimed it yet, but you will get this. So then you will grab that and you will put that on him. In terms of the set that you're going to get from the Hunt Expert Challenge, hopefully you guys have Tamarin by now. But this free HP set that you get for buying two Epic Catalysts, you will put this on your Destina. If you do not have Tamarin yet, if you have Tamarin, put it on Tamarin and start running with that. Once this set is on Tamarin, you will be able to clear so much more story once you level it up a bit. You will start flying. It has speed, mainstay, HP percent boots. It's all six HP, so you get three set bonuses. This is huge. And then for the set that you get tomorrow, that HP set, it has HP percent boots. You want the HP percent boots on your Wyvern front tank. So the next thing is going to be getting this. Um, I should have, before I bought those things, the Epic Spirit Blooms, I should have started the Hunt Challenge first before I bought them because now I am sitting at 20 behind. I should already have this attack set, which sucks. I didn't think about that. But make sure you don't spend your things until you get to that hunt part. So hopefully you watch this far in the video and don't make the same mistake I did. But... Make sure you do that because now I have to farm twice as much to unlock that, which is super annoying, but it is what it is. So there's another mistake within the guide that is that is crappy. So that's fine, though. It is what it is. But this attack set is very, very good. So once you get this attack set, if you have Terranor Guard, then you are going to have a pretty high morale team. So by having Terranor Guard, you will put the free attack set on him, and I put these speed boots on him. For now you get these going through the main story it's one of the only pieces you need to lock and keep it is a speed main stab boot these are going to be some of the most important items in the game you're going to be needing a billion speed main stab boots this piece will be a placeholder until you get proper wyvern gear that will be 45 speed versus this will be i think 35 speed so the, just know this is a placeholder but this will work pretty well for a very very long time for you as a new player so what I am talking about with this, we're going to go into Labyrinth a little bit real quick. So I'm going to pull up a website for this part of the guide. So if I do display capture, so bang. Looking at this, if you go to epic7x.com slash friendship calculator, I can put the link in the description, then you can type in all the characters that you have geared up, and then you, it will show you the best combination to get the most morale for lab. Morale is how far you can move. Each square in lab is one morale. So by trying to optimize when you go to camping, the more morale you get, the more you can travel per run with a labyrinth. And you want to clear labyrinth as far as you can. So by using a more free-to-play team, if you use Raz, Destina, Terranor Guard, and Mercedes, you can clear a ton of labyrinth because you get 35 points. That's a really good morale team, and it's going to be the team that most of you are going to have to use for quite a while. So you're going to be wanting, if hopefully, I'm pretty sure Terranor Guard's free. But you're going to end up getting them. If you haven't got them yet, then I don't know. That's really unlucky. Then if you don't have them, the team that might be better to do instead of turn or guard, I'll just suggest this team. I'm going to use this one instead. Raz, Spectrum Gibra, Destina, Mercedes. Use these four. This is 32 morale. That's going to be plenty. I don't know if the three will make a difference overall in terms of your um, how far you can get each day. But this one's the, this one's very simple. Just Raz, Spectrum Destina, Mercedes. And use this until you start failing, and then you're going to have to probably adjust teams or move some gear around. But we'll see We'll see how that goes. But this, this website's fantastic. It's good for late players who are looking to efficiently farm, uh, get through lab as fast as they can. So very, very, very useful tool. The Sepic7x.com has a ton of good resources. Not sponsored, by the way, just a website that I use for a lot of things. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that now. So this is going to be one thing that if you've been claiming all your resources, I'm going to give a little checkpoint here as to where you should be. So if you go to battle, you should be to Abyss 4 32 by now. If you're wondering how I got to 32, you get some tokens from, I think, your adventure's path. You get some from event. But then one thing that you guys might not have claimed yet is if you go to rank up pack, rank up pack one, these are all free rewards that you get and you get 10 Abyss tokens. At, at level uh, 10 so a lot of you are probably already claimed that but if you have not claimed that this will be huge for you you can get a ton more resources now another thing i'm going to talk about real quick is if you go and click the event tab down here in the bottom left under my face cam sorry let me move my face cam just so you guys see it so if you click this event tab right here 
it will open up this. And if you scroll down, you can watch five ads a day for 100 energy. That's a that's an extra 10 run and a half, basically, or 10 run and a quarter every single day. It's co it's really worth it. It's an extra 5,000 stigma for each day during the first 10 days. So 5,000 stigma over 10 days, you basically get one additional six star by just watching ads for 10 days. It's t some of the ads take t like 10 seconds, some take 30. It's annoying, but it is a way to maximize your account as a free to play player. So that is one thing that you can do each day that will give you some bonus. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and show if you have not gotten Tamarin yet, I did just show a bunch of ways you're gonna be getting more bookmarks, but you should be at about 70 to pity. And I have 50 summons or 55 summons. So let's do a single summon and then a 10 summon. No luck, and then let's do a 10 summon because it will be faster. We still didn't get her. So it looks like I'm gonna end up pitting her. Um, we did get another set, and we got Aureus, or another Aureus, that's good. So everything we just got just fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, so we're 59 from pity. But even though we're 59 from pity, I am not rushing to spend my sky stones to summon. We are gonna get a lot more bookmarks, I'm just going to keep keep going. Yes, we will probably use quite a bit of our Sky Stones for summons. But for right now, I want to have the option to have the Sky Stones in case I want to heavy farm something. So keeping Sky Stones on your account and being patient instead of using them right away to summon is always the best thing you can do. So never just blow your Sky Stones on summons even later. Wait till you know what character is good before you summon. Do some research. Watch some guides on players who pulled the character and are testing them, content creators. Part of their quote unquote job is to test stuff for you so you don't have to. So with your gold transmits, I did have a little bit that I got from different things. Automaton Tower gave a couple. So we're gonna go ahead and do two Moonlight Summons real quick. So let's go ahead and see if we get anything. And it looks like nothing from the first one. Yep, so we got a three star. I know she's she's a decent character, just hardy gear for a new player. From this, we're hoping for any ML5. General Perkins would be cool. Um, and Arrowell as a three star. This account is super unlucky. This account is super unlucky. <laughs> Arrow, Arrowell, Arrowell. Eden. Eden actually could be maybe something I could use. I don't know. Arrowell is what you're hoping for, but okay, we got we got unlucky. That's just the way she goes. So now we're to a point where I think I've covered everything I want to cover for today. I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. I wanted to get this video out. So, well, I think I was going to talk about Wyvern. Before we go, Wyvern, front tank, Crozet, Rose, Tywin, if you got lucky and got him as a five star. If you don't have those three, you can do a Soul Weaver, but you're going to want to change to a Knight later to speed up your Epic 7 progress every day. Next up, Cigarette Grace of Growth. Uh, you're going to continue to do the Grace of Growth challenges to get that to max. Terranor Guard, hopefully you guys have Terranor Guard. If you don't have Terranor Guard... I'm going to say that your replacement for him is going to be Furious. You get, you get him for free, guaranteed. Then Mui. Hopefully you've gotten a Mui. We've done a ton of summons. If you haven't gotten a Mui, that's pretty unlucky. But if you have Mui, definitely gear him up. So if you the team I'm going to be using is Crozet, Cigarette, Terranor Guard, Mui. So if you are missing either of those characters, if you're missing Terranor Guard, then instead build up Furious. If you are missing Mui then instead build up Alexa, the three-star character Alexa. Get them to five, just get them to five-star and fully awaken, whichever ones you're using. So five-star, fully awaken, and then we'll be able to go into the, the rest of the guide tomorrow. So like I said, Rose, make sure she's six-starred. So your front tank, six-star, your other two characters, so your Terranor Guard or Furious or your Mui or other character, get them to level 50 and five-star awaken them. So in order to awaken them, you're going to go in here and you're going to go and get the Dreamtime circuit. So that is why we are farming a ton of AP and unrecorded history, as well as trying to farm six stars, is so that you can go in there, click this, and then go buy the resources needed to five-star promote them. We might end up six-starring one of them, depending on how our damage looks once we get into Wyvern. But for right now, we are going to just keep them at five-star and try to get away with keeping them at five-star as long as we can. So now that will put us up... You are going to end up having to farm some of Spirit Altar, but that is going to be what you're doing for tomorrow. Keep farming Unrecorded History. Push story a little bit more. As you do the things I said in this video, um, then you're going to be six-starring Spectre Tenebria third, and then once you get Spectre Tenebria six-starred, and then your free Spirit Tearia, 
is uh, you can get the exclusive equipment for her. You should be able to clear, and then you put the free gear that you just or you get from the hunt challenge on your Destina or Tamarin. You should be able to clear all the way up to um, unrecorded history max chapter. Once you do that, then you're going to want to work on your skill enhancements for Stenny. And then awakening five star three characters or higher, this allows you to awaken your specter Tenebria. So make sure you do this. So doing these three and then reach gold five in arena, we'll be working on that on day six, most likely. So try to work on these three challenges. And then once you finish them, make sure to go in and do them. So you're gonna wanna awaken Stene. I didn't even know I could awaken her. She never had the dang next to her, but you can awaken her to five star once you get the other thing. I should have done this a long time ago. This is a lot of power here. <laughs> I, I thought you had to do the challenge before you can awaken her once. <laughs> okay, so that's good to know. If you haven't awakened your Stenny, go in and do this. And then, but either way, that's what you do up until then. And then other than that, keep farming and recorded history. If you run out of stamina, make sure you watch the ads and then start burning your leaves. Just plow through your leaves. If you run out of leaves, you're farming that hard, start burning your Skystones. The more you farm during this period with this 120% max buff, you're going to be happier down the road. It's it's like you're gonna be so much happier if you if you have around seven k sky stones, which is where you should be at right now. If you didn't spend any, then you are going to you can burn. I would say don't go below four thousand. You just keep burning all your resources, farming on recorded history infinitely, on repeat while trying to push some other uh, content to clear all the stuff that I talked about. But that is it for today's guide. Hopefully, I covered everything I think I needed to. If I missed anything, there will be a video out midday tomorrow going over everything so everything that you should be trying to finish up by day four going into day five to start the wyvern grind so the most efficient way to six star talked about it so if you guys um have anything to add to that comment it down below if you're new to the channel and are willing to subscribe it'd be great and if you haven't joined the discord need a guild join the discord or if you don't need a guild you can still join discord talk to us so we've had like a thousand new people join in a couple of days that's absolutely insane but like i said let to close this video out I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> this has gone absolutely insane. I did not know there was this many new Epic 7 players at a random time. I did not expect this many people to be around at a, uh, like, there's nothing crazy going on. There's a summer event, and we're about to have the collab, but for people to be starting right now, it seems just weird that there's that many. That's crazy. This shows that this game is way more popular than I ever get credit for. But, all right, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.